Have you ever run a marathon before? If you have, you know it's very different from a 100 meter sprint. You see, to run a marathon successfully, you need a completely different mindset than you would run a sprint. You need to look at it and understand it in a different way. You also need to approach the training differently. You cannot prepare for a sprint in both training and mindset and think that you will run the marathon successfully. And yet, in this race of life, this is what a lot of people tend to do. They tend to view life like it's a sprint and so they either get burnt out or tired and feel frustrated when the end doesn't come as quickly as they imagine it should because it's not a sprint but a marathon. Are you running the race of life? Are you running it like it's a 100 meter dash or are you running it like it's an endurance trek? Today we're going to be looking at a few mindsets and things that you must understand in order to run this race of life. Jesus says in the book of Luke chapter 14 verse 28 to 30, Which of you wishing to build a tower does not first sit down and count the cost to see if he has the resources to build it? Otherwise, if he lays the foundation and is unable to finish the work, everyone will see it and ridicule him, saying, This man could not finish what he started to build. He understood that if you're going to run successfully, you have to understand the race that you were running. So without wasting time, here are five things that you must remember in the marathon of life that you were running. Number one, don't sprint. Stop being in such a hurry that you wear yourself out. You do not run a marathon to the end by sprinting in the middle or in the beginning. You are more likely to wear yourself out and make it more difficult for yourself later on in the race. Why are you such in a hurry? Why do you get frustrated when things don't go how you wish they could or when it seems like God is making you wait for a season? In a sprint, everything is about speed, but in a marathon, it's the complete opposite because you understand that you're not getting out of the race anytime quickly. This is the reason that you must learn patience. Learn to pace yourself. Understand that just because some things are not happening as quickly as you would wish or think, it does not mean that they wouldn't happen to you. Just because you haven't received an answer from God doesn't mean that you won't or that he isn't listening to you. Number two, stop comparing. Yeah, you had me right. I said stop comparing. The goal in the marathon is rarely ever who finishes first. The goal is to finish, to endure to the end. That is why Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 12 that we do not dare to classify or compare ourselves with some who commend themselves. When they measure themselves by themselves and compare themselves with themselves, they are not wise. It is not wise to compare yourself to someone else. A lot of people fall into this trap and then they feel so frustrated that they never begin running the race or they give up at the point where they are. Everyone's race is different, okay? Stop using someone else's race to judge your progress or how far you are going. That's not how life works. It doesn't work like that. Stop letting the enemy to steal your joy and your peace in the moment and depriving you of the opportunities to enjoy the process because he's got you so focused on what you don't have that you don't see what you do have. Comparison is a thief of joy and is a thief of peace. What one person needs to run their race will be entirely different from what you need to run yours. The only commendation you need is from God. If he approves of your race and how much progress you're making, that's all you need. Number three, endure. A marathon is about endurance. In a marathon, there's gonna be times where you run out of breath, times where you need to take a break, times you get very tired and times you're full of energy and you feel like you can run forever. The trick, however, is to understand that in all the seasons, the thing that matters most to you is to keep looking forward and enduring through it. You're gonna be tired sometimes. It's not strange and it doesn't mean that there is something wrong with you or that you're not gonna finish the race. The only person who never gets tired is God, which is why you can rely on him totally to help you endure. You've gotta push through the pain. You've gotta push through the tiredness because the reward on the other side of that finish line is more than worth it. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary. His understanding is beyond searching out. 
He gives power to the faint and increases the strength of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. And they will mount up with wings like eagles, and they will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Isaiah chapter 40 from verse 28 to 31. Number 4. Look to the end. In a marathon, you cannot see the finish line when you're running until you get to the very end. So sometimes it can be discouraging because you don't know how close or how far away it is. Instead of letting yourself to be depressed and be discouraged by the length of the journey, you must choose to focus on whatever part of the race that you are currently running. You may not see the finish line, but you know that it's there and you know that it's gonna be so glorious. Forget about the length of the race and focus on the glory of the finish. Let me say that again. Forget about the length of the race and focus on the glory of the finish. You know what it's gonna be like. You are not confused or in doubt. What you choose to focus on will determine how you run the race that you were running. If you are convinced that at the end of this struggle in your marriage is joy and happiness for you and your spouse, you are motivated to keep putting in the work no matter how difficult or unrewarding it may feel right now. This is what God wants for you. Look at the glory of the end and push through the pain of today. Number 5 and what is probably the most important, rely on God. The best way to run a marathon is with encouragement. So whether it's internal or external, you need to know how to speak to yourself when you hit the walls. When it feels like you cannot take another step without breaking down, you have a God who is with you through all the walls and the smooth parts. Learn to rely on His strength and look to Him for encouragement. You can be sincere with God in those moments. You can also count on the fact that if you rely on Him, He's gonna carry you through those moments. When you need it, He's gonna remind you that just because you've hit a wall doesn't mean everything is over. You see, when you fall in a 100 meter sprint, the race is pretty much over for you. But when you fall in a marathon, you've gotta pick yourself up and keep going because it has no effect on your long term race. This is what God helps you to do. He reminds you that it's not over, that you can still keep going, whether in prayer or in the word. God is more than able and ready to provide you all you need to ensure that you finish your race. Are you going to put your trust in Him today? Will you put your trust in Him today?